Hello students, my name is Shanawaz Ahmed and I'm your tutor of paper ATX. So before uh, moving towards the introduction of this paper, uh, let's uh, first discuss about uh, the tutor profile. So uh, as far as my qualification is concerned, I'm an ACCA. Uh, I have completed my ACCA in 2006. And uh, I have also completed my master's qualification in economics and finance in the same year, as well as I have completed my advanced diploma in management accounting from a SEMA UK. And uh, I am currently a SEMA finalist as well. I've been associated with uh, this uh, particular teaching, uh, teaching career the, for the last 14 years and teaching students of ACCA and SEMA and other professional qualification as well. Currently, I am uh, working in a platinum status college in Pakistan and also a faculty member of online lecturers for distance learning courses. There I'm teaching paper TX and ATX. I also teach financial management, financial reporting and uh, other ACC papers too. Now let's move to the, uh, this particular paper that is uh, advanced taxation and that is a, a optional paper in your professional papers. Uh, so there is a prerequisites of this paper that is uh, the fundamental paper, which is the TX is a prerequisite for this advanced level paper that is ATX. And it's very important to know that uh, if, you, if you want to work well in ATX, then ultimately you need to understand that uh, the whole TX syllabus is part of ATX. So a good understanding of paper TX is required in order to pass ATX paper. Now, as far as the syllabus uh, is concerned, the areas are concerned, you can see that uh, the first uh, part of the syllabus uh, deals with the understanding of the tax system through the study of more advanced topics within the taxes studied previously and the study of STEM taxes. So the whole previous uh, syllabus that you have studied, you have to be uh, a bit uh, uh, advanced uh, in terms of the topics that you have covered, the more detailed topics you, you have to study. For example, you have covered basis period. Now there is, there is a rule called the change in uh, accounting dates. You have to consider that as far as the new topic that is the stamp taxes related to land and shares. Now, as far as the B portion is concerned, this is particularly very much important. That is the impact of relevant taxes on various situations and courses of actions, including the interaction of taxes, the how two tax systems, are, how two type of tax are connected, for example, how CGT and IHT are connected, how uh, a sole trader can be converted into an, into an incorporated business, what would be the consequences, how you can transfer your value added tax registration, so and so on. As far as uh, the part C is concerned, minimizing or deferring tax liability by the use of standard tax planning measures. In this particular paper, tax planning is uh, of utmost value. That means you have to uh, be very much in grip with the uh, potential of uh, minimizing your tax liability. Obviously, you have to advise your client. And the best thing is that being ethical, being remain ethical, you have to identify the gaps where you can just uh, uh, minimize the uh, liability by using the basic principle, for example, how you can be best utilize the personal allowances, how you can best utilize capital allowances, how you can uh, use tax losses in an efficient way, how you can use the benefits of uh, husband, husband and wife, tax band, so and so on. Now, as far as the D part is concerned, you have to communicate with your clients that are asking about the advice related their income and other tax matters. You have to deal with HM revenue and custom in certain matters and other professionals in an appropriate manner. And remember that uh, in the entire syllabus, the ethics are very important because when you deal with certain parties, when you give advice to certain parties, you, you must remain ethical. You know that the 
ethics is a core uh, principle for acca students as well as members so uh, in the exam there are marks related to the ethical issues as well now if if i want to just uh, highlight the areas that is uh, important in atx so, so i have already told you that entire tx syllabus is part of atx so the the topics usually uh, are frequently come in the exam that is related to for example iest is one of the important areas there are different new uh, sections in atx exam such as uh, for example the valuation of death death state valuation is very complex there are certain reliefs which are not included in tx syllabus there are certain exemptions as well and uh, as far as uh, cgt is concerned it was in the previous syllabus but now in the current syllabus of atx cgt is ultimately very important some additional topics you have to study in cgt similarly value added tax and uh, employment income and national insurance contribution all the very small topic nic but ultimately it's very important sole trader and partnership that is an unincorporated business how a business uh, uh, is to be initiated losses transfer of business so and so on and pension which looks like a very small topic but a very key element in this particular paper and uh, as far as a new topic is concerned yes trust really is a new topic in this exam which was previously not included in tx exam a stamp duty is a new area that you have to consider and very much important for the atx exam is the overseas aspects the overseas aspects are connected with your income tax portion as well as your cgt portion and as well as your iht portion similarly it also relates with the corporation tax so it means that uh, the the part is uh, uh, additional one plus a very important element because multiple areas are being connected so examiner might ask you about the residence status the domicile status you can see in the past paper a new area that is the financial management of business personal financial management as well as business financial management is included corporation tax is very extensive here we cover the normal tx part of corporation tax plus uh, some issues related to uh, controlled companies uh, family companies foreign companies and so and so on group aspect yes it's very uh, very very important for this exam previously in taxation exam the group aspects was uh, not much in detail but here the group aspects are very important and uh, particularly i have told you that the overseas aspect related to group and corporations now as far as the paper structure is concerned like other professional papers uh, there are two sections but uh, these two sections are uh, uh, different in this paper in that the section a deals with uh, two compulsory case study question while section b deals with two compulsory questions so there are total four questions in this particular exam so it's a tough task is a very challenging exam in terms of time management now as far as the section a is concerned section a comprises of question number 1 that is uh, worth 35 marks so if the marks is 35 we can assume that there will be a long scenario based question considering multiple tax issues advices interactions and so and so on and four professional marks are part of 35 marks so a good answer a good structured answer will will earn you will give you a four professional marks question 2 is uh, worth 25 marks covering multiple tax issues as well and there will be five ethical marks that will be covered in this particular section it might be in question number 1 in question number 2 or it might be in both questions now as far as section b is concerned that section covers two questions and uh, that particular two questions uh, cover 40 marks and uh, the section deals with some business issues that is uh, the incorporated businesses uh, and uh, other related issues and some personal tax issues uh, related to an individual now 
let's uh, discuss something about uh, what examiner team or the documents that they have uh, shared with us tell us about uh, this particular paper. So ATX exam, think more, write less. So it's all about uh, how you plan your paper. Uh, when you are writing something, planning is very important. So from the examination team's point of view, think requirements are everything. What you have been asked to do, what do you not to, need to do? So carefully, you have to study the question's requirement if you want to uh, work effectively. Think how will you do what the requirement is asking? Planning your answer is crucial. It is uh, my experience or the examiner's comments that students usually do not plan your answer. They just uh, they just just identify the requirement and just start writing from the scratch. Not a good practice. Think, have you identified the relevant issues? It's very important that uh, you have to identify the relevant issues. If you are not able to identify the relevant issue, you might not write in a correct way. Think, have you thought about the point you want to make? Before you start writing, this will help you to write concisely. So it is the practice uh, normally in the exam that a student write too much, which is not being asked in the question. Think, make sure you know why you're doing a particular calculation. As uh, calculations are very important, but it's not like TX exam where too much calculations are required. Here you have to advise in terms of calculation. So first of all, you have to calculate and then you have to advise. So think that uh, what type of calculation is required? Is a detailed calculation is required? Is there any requirement of a format of calculation or just a precise calculation is needed? So make sure you know why you're doing a particular calculation before you prepare it. Will it help you to answer the requirements? Now let's move further. Some resources that you have to opt for this exam obviously the finance act 2019 and this is a new act that is applicable from march 2020 till the uh, march 2021 exam so finance act 2019 atx study support guide examiner approach articles very important passing strategic professional exams how to earn professional marks you have to uh, read the article written by examination team, ethics and professional skill module, past exam questions and papers and answers, very important. Practice, practice, practice. The more you practice, the more you're able to remember the rules of taxes. There are lots of rules. So by practicing more exam oriented questions, you can easily remember the rules and you can apply it in a proper way. And obviously the examinations, examiners report examiner's report tells you about the mistakes the problems that usually students create in their exams so by not doing these issues by uh, by just following the recommendation of examiner plus your tutor you can maximize your chances of passing the exam now preparation advice from the examination team know your stuff you must have thorough precise knowledge of the entire syllabus and instead of uh, 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 taking knowledge of a few topics of the syllabus, it is always advisable that you uh, go through the entire syllabus because you don't know from which part of the syllabus the examiner will ask a question. So a shortcut is not allowed. Uh, cover your whole syllabus. Refresh brought forward knowledge from the TX UK syllabus of FA2019. So from the broad forward knowledge, we mean the knowledge that you have uh, earned in paper taxation. But unfortunately, uh, those students that are appearing in uh, this June exam, they have knowledge of the previous FA 2018. So ultimate, it's a problem that because rules have been changed, but we will try our level best to provide you all kind of the previous knowledge of TX, uh, the revision of TX so that you can understand what are the differences between 2018 and 2019 Finance Act. And simply practice question based on 2019 Finance Act. Learn how to spot triggers which are there to point you towards the required answer. Questions spot, spotting is very important. The requirement you have to correctly identify. Be prepared to answer questions on ethical issues. From past papers, we'll identify the ethical issues questions 
and you'll try to solve it with the code of ethics. Be ruthless in critiquing your answer. So uh, focus on what you are writing and uh, will it, 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 it is a relevant one or not. You have to just identify and then start writing that whether you're writing in the right direction or not. Now at the end, simply uh, the student uh, want to know that what is the pass rates. So these are the four attempts passing score. And you can see that uh, the, the students of June 19 exams were a bit lucky in terms of the results. And the result was quite good for a professional paper. That is 43%. But as far as the lowest rate is concerned in March 19, the result was 33%. So as far as the consistent result is concerned, it is around 35, 36%, which is uh, a bit low in terms of uh, when you talk about uh, the difficulty level. So this is a, a lengthy paper. This is a huge paper. The syllabus is huge, but uh, if you focus on the right direction, the, the, the guidance of the examination team, the guidance of your tutor, you can easily pass this paper in first attempt. So this is all uh, what that I have to discuss in this intro video. Later on, uh, with the passage of time, when, when we move along our lectures, we will we'll discuss about the examination techniques, how to get, how to, uh, get grip on this subject, how to memorize the rules, and uh, how to practice the question in an exam uh, scenarios or uh, the exam situation. So thank you for watching this particular introduction of ATX.